unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My house shall be called a house of prayer. Matthew 21, 8, 13. This church building is dedicated to the glory of God on this day, the 22nd April 2017. So this is it, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. It's been 10 years, and 10 years is a very long time. By no means is it a short period of time. In the intervening years, so many things have happened. People have come and gone. But God in His rich mercy has been so good to us. He has been so kind to each one of us because of His gift of life that we are able to gather together in this manner this evening. And so, we have every reason to be jubilant and happy. Not because of all the adjectives labeled to this church, no. But due to the fact, but because of the very fact that God in His rich mercy has done this to each one of us, just as we have been praying. And so, my dear friends, please join with me in thanking the Lord at this time. Let us all give a clap offering to our God.
the Almighty God, since the day one when we started planning for this church. It's an honor to serve the living God. It has been a pleasure working for Jesus Christ. In fact, my life is a testimony, a testimony of Christian serving the living God and His Son, Lord Jesus Christ. It was in 2005, while Dr. Nehoshe was the Deacon Council Chairman of St. Baptist Church in Bato, where day by day the congregation members were increasing, the church was getting smaller. He planned out to extend the wing, but the congregation said, no, we want a bigger and beautiful church. That's how in 2005, we took a decision of having this church. Today, it's ready for you. While constructing this church, I and my friends were nominated as the planning board official members in 2005, December 5, with all planning, hectic moving, consulting the architect, the engineer, the consultant. It was through Mrs. Honoholi, and civil engineer was engaged, known as Mr. N.K. Das from Kolkata. He started doing the civil work design as designed by our architect, Mrs. Honoli. The building where we are at the moment is something like a raft, a ship. The pillars are ba balanced on that raft. And to be very honest, he's a true engineer, she's a true architect. After building this church, while the construction was going on, we have had seven earthquakes. We have the targeted amount that the final total amount will touch somewhere around 36 crores, give or take a few lines, but we are likely to touch 36 crores. That, is, that will be our total expenditure. And till now, our total expenditure so far incurred is around 32 crores. So that is the rough figure I am giving out. Now, the other important aspect I would like to uh, highlight our guest is that of this 32 and another year to spend, according to 36, I am very, very thankful to God. This amount has been contributed, has been raised, and we have mobilized this only to our members, our church members. Dear friends, now that we have completed building and paid all indebtedness on it, let us dedicate this building and rejoice in its holy use. To the glory of God, who has called us by grace, to the honor of Jesus Christ, who loved us and gave himself for us, to the praise of the Holy Spirit, who illumines and sacrifices us. We begin his thoughts. For the worship of God in prayer and praise, for the preaching of the everlasting gospel, for the celebration of the Holy Communion. We I congratulate the pastors, the deacon board members, and the NCB committee members, and all the members of this church for this wonderful building. I give Adam's appreciation to the Duma, 
I know how hard you do. it has been that you have worked so hard and generously you have given for the construction of this building. I also want to acknowledge and admire, appreciate the architect who have made this beautiful interior and outer design. To be called the biggest church in Asia, I think we should clap hands. We cannot remain silent. Yeah. Yeah. With this magnificent architecture, we must also give a big hand. This is a sum of thanksgiving. Entering the gate would mean the doors of the house of God. The moment we enter the house of God at the door, we must enter with thanksgiving. We also have new education policy drafted. If you read very carefully the new education policy drafted, where yoga and soft speak are compulsory, it's going to be difficult for many. We also experience vigilantism. We have seen the cow protection force. We also have anti-Romeo protection force. Boy and girl cannot fall in love in public places. Yeah. And through this moral police or vigilante, they have persecuted so many people, even killed many people. The church, this church construction was started uh, in uh, 2007, but uh, before that, the congregation uh, resolved to construct new building in 2005 by the house in the service at, in the morning service that new church should be constructed instead of uh, extension and so taking that resolution uh, approval by the house in the service the the Gon council uh, resolved to construct new building and so we selected uh, uh, committee members, the office bearers, uh, the planning board members, and uh, yeah, we, we selected a few office bearers headed by Mr. Kielho uh, H. Yepto. He's the construction chairman till now. And so they took up their project, and uh, the project was. Uh, um, undertaken uh, by these office bearers and the office bearers along with the committee decided to have a architect we removed the old building here itself the old building it took a few months to remove the old building but uh, slowly the old building removed and uh, um, place where we layout for the new building was uh, ducked out and started uh, in 2007 itself. We don't have any funding agent but uh, the church members of this church contributed, they donated. We had a house budget, we had donation, we had a service uh, for the service, you know, service salary contribution from the service people. Only that alone we constructed this building. Otherwise we don't have any other government or nor outside fund.
it was in 2006 we started engaging architect engineer consultants for sound acoustic etc and a civil engineer we are very fortunate and lucky to have mrs honoli architect from dimapur ms architect she took all the pain in doing the designing for about six months. Later on, she engaged a civil engineer known as Mr. M.K. Das from Kolkata. Then we got one known as Mr. Kelvin Ashby from T2, best at Bangalore. He's an Englishman, but he has been here in India doing the acoustic work for nearly 20 years. Three of them together, we started designing this building. With God's blessing, we could finish the designing on papers and we took off to start the building in the month of May 2007, where the foundation was laid. Building part, I think, the masums, we involved nearly 2,000. Then, uh, 2,000 labors with uh, carpenters, masum, etc. Then, you know, these aluminum windows. We all got it from Kolkata. They sent about 20 to 30 te uh, technicians. Then we have the glass part. Then we have the wooden part. Then the marble part. Then the lightning part. The doom, which we had put up, it is also done by a group from Calcutta. So overall, let's say about 3,000 people were involved making this church. All together with the main hall, we have 27 rooms. 27 rooms where the main hall is the uh, church. Then beside that, we have 14 rooms for the officials. Like we have senior pastor, pastor, woman pastor, youth pastor, then uh, children education, etc.